print my envelopes. So I have a pretty nice packaging like this here. See there's a character printed on it. This is a lino cut print. And that's what I want to do now. Because this is all I have left for now. And it's time to print more of these. So I'm going to show you guys how this is going to work. This is what I use to carve the stamps. This is a lino cut carving tool. And I really kind of want to open this up. But <laughs> I forgot I have to <laughs> do it like that. So you have these different kind of tools that you can add to the top. Yeah, this is what I am using. These ones here are the carved lino cut things. Printing ink. I use this one. It's actually for lino cut prints. I don't know if this is anything special, but I just ordered it on Amazon. So definitely can recommend that. And I use a brush and the little cup here. And some water, because sometimes I need to mix this with water to make it more uh, a little more liquid. And then I use gloves, because <laughs> I swear this is so hard to get off from your fingers. So it's definitely better to use these. Some tissues, in case I make a mess here. We have small envelopes, big ones. And I also have paper here, where I want to print something on. So, I am going to start with mixing the color. Make sure you put your gloves on. And put everything away that can get color on your desk. Because, seriously, this color sticks so hard to everything. That should be enough for now. And you see, it's way too thick, right? So I'm gonna add a little water, but be really careful here because if you put too much water, you're gonna get such a weird effect on the print. Um, you don't see it as long as it's wet, but as soon as it's drying, you're gonna get um, like not a black print. It's more, I don't know how to say that, but it looks like it's watered down. So don't use too much water. I'm going in and using just a little bit. I use this brush as well. Oh my god, I made such a mess already. You know, these things always happen when you record. It's like, seriously. <laughs> to me, this happens all the time when I record something. But just make sure you mix it really well because you don't want to have any area with too much water. So, right, this looks good. Just showing you guys how it's looking like. I'm using a thicker brush now because I feel like applying color is easier with a thicker brush and I'm using this one to press the print onto the paper just try to make the brush a little wet Placing it and putting it down. Good. Using my hands to press on it 
And now I'm using this thing. This is so good for it. Over every little area, especially over very thin areas. Doing a little check. That looks much better. Just to compare, both. let's just put both next to each other so you guys can see the difference, right? The first one and the second one. And it will get even more better the more you do of these. Because you just have to get used to the technique and they will get better. So don't ever use your best paper first. This looks promising. Oh my god, this is so much better now. I swear. Look at this. I told you it's getting better with every time you do this. You see the difference? This one looks so much more cleaner and you see the great texture it has here? This place here or like around the hair area. So pretty now. So now I'm gonna use the mermaid stem. Please let it be perfect. Oh yes. Yay! Well this one is so pretty. You see how great it turned out? It's a good one. So guys, I quickly wanted to show you the difference between a print that has too much water in it. Like here's a really good example on the left side. You can clearly see how the water behaves in the print, which is not looking nice compared to a good one. I mean, it could have a little more ink here, but it's not too much water. so. There is a big difference between using too much water and having a good consistency. So guys, I'm basically done with everything. Here is one of these finished mermaid prints. And um, what I just wanted to say, you just have to let it dry now. Make sure you maybe wait like an hour just to make sure it's 100% dry. 